first chapter, Share on Entropy. A message is transmitted using a code that maps each letter of the alphabet to a binary code, code word. The letter A is mapped to the code word 00, zero B is mapped to 01, C is mapped to 10, and D is mapped to 11. What is the entropy of the message ACB, DACBD when encoded using this code? First of all, we have to know the formula, which is minus sum of P of X multiplied with log base 2 of P of X. Therefore, we have to specify which is the probability of each letter to appear. So in our case, we have P of A to be 2 divided by 8, which 8 is the uh, number of letters and 2 is the number of times um, when A appears in our code word. So it's 1 divided by 4, which is 0, 25. If we watch closer, all of these letters appear only two times, so P of A it's also equal to P of B, which is also equal to P of C, and which is also equal to P of D. Putting these values, this value four times in the formula above, we'll obtain minus 0 0.25 multiplied with log base 2 of 20, 0, sorry, I'm sorry, let me correct here, uh, not this one, this one, uh, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25, multi basically we will write this four times, because like I said before, the probability of all four letters is equal to 0 0.24, 25, sorry. So it's 0 0.25 multiplied with um, log base 2 of 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 multiplied with log base 2 of 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 multiplied with log base 2 of 0 0.25. Here we will obtain minus <coughs> 1 from the actually 2 sorry from this calculate from these operations above we obtain 2 but the number of uh, bits cannot be negative so um, the number of bits it's 2 all right going to the second problem it says that a uh, dice, here it's a typo, it's a dice, it's rolled, I'm sorry about that. And the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, obviously. The dice, it's fair, which means that each outcome is equally likely. What is the maximum entropy of this, of this probability distribution in bits? In this case, like I specified here, the probability distribution is a uniform distribution with each outcome having a probability of 1 divided by 6, in our case, because we have six possible outcomes. To compute the maximum entropy we use the same formula as before. Formula that we have right here which is explained right here below. Alright, since we know that uh, all the possible outcomes are equally likely to, to show then uh, our formula will give us minus 1 divided by 6 multiplied with log base 2 of 1 divided by 6 minus 1 divided by 6 I wrote multiplied. this operation 6 times because we have like I said before 6 possible outcomes and um, computing and estimating the value we obtained minus 2.585 which is uh, resulting to an H being 2.5 585 bits because like I said before in case of an entropy the number of bits cannot be negative all right next we have fixed point first problem says suppose that we have two given values n1 being minus 30 in decimal and n2 being 21 in decimal perform this equation first step let me zoom in a little bit please uh, n1 it's minus 30 
in base 10 which is um, 1 1 1 1 0 all right then n2 in binary this is in binary n2 it's 21 in decimal so it's 1 0 1 0 1 in binary all right we will write this in um, uh, direct code so in direct code we'll obtain 1 for minus 30 because oh, let me write it actually we have the um, the sign the sign here we write the sign so minus 30 being negative here is gonna be an 1 and the rest of the number it's gonna be 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 see what I did here um, I wrote them from left to right but I saw that I have here one two three four five bits I should have actually let me erase here and modify so it won't be confusing I have here zero one 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 yeah those three I will add, add this one also and complete with two more zeros and the sign bit it's very important so uh, the next number it's positive so the um, uh, bit sign it's zero and uh, this number in binary it's one zero one zero one zero zero adding those two we'll obtain one here and one one zero we'll keep one in mind 1 plus 0 it's z it's 1 but with 1 from the mind it's uh, a 0 1 in mind 1 plus 1 it's 0 with 1 in mind 1 we keep 1 in mind 0 plus 0 it's 0 with 1 in mind it's 1 0 plus 0 it's 0 if we um, fast calculate this one it's um, 1 plus 2 plus not 4 not 8 but a 16 and 32 which will give us minus because of the uh, sign bit minus 51 which is not equal to uh, minus 9 if we will just add them in decimal so we will um, compute the next step which is uh, perform the inverse code inverse code for the negative number you change basically uh, the each digit to inverse them pretty obviously from the name so basically if uh, the number is 0 you will write it as an 1 and vice versa if it's an 1 then with it will be an 0 but I will write this down so we have 1 0 yeah the bit sign the sign bit sorry and we will inverse all these bits so we'll get 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 in case of positive numbers um, direct code it's equal to inverse code and it's also equal to complementary code so nothing changes and we will just copy the number that we got here before in binary which is one zero one zero one zero zero um, adding this also we will get zero one one zero one 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 and obviously this um, the sign bit which is one all right now if we write this from binary to decimal we will obtain uh, let me see um, not one not two uh, I mean not one but two plus four plus not eight but sixteen plus thirty two plus sixty four which is actually equal to six plus sixteen twenty two plus thirty two it's fifty five uh, plus 64 55 plus 64 which is equal to 180 minus 180 in um, decimal so it's not it's not good um, but 
we will also compute the um, complementary code, which is basically, uh, first of all, we have to add one at the end of the negative number. So the bits will shift one to the left. So basically we'll have, uh, this is the s bit sign. We'll have zero, one, zero, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Zero one zero 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 one one, and we will um, copy this. Like I said, the complementary code it stays the same as the inverse code and the decimal code and direct code I'm sorry in case of positive numbers so it's the same I'll just copy it fast zero zero one zero one zero one adding this two up we'll obtain one bit sign in here um, one 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 zero one 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 normalizing this normalize let's specify We'll obtain um, one bit of sign zero 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 one zero zero one. Basically, what I did here, normalizing, it's I changed all the bits instead of the last one and the sign bit. So uh, this one became a zero. This one also. This one also. The zero became a one and those two ones became two zeros and if we uh, trans convert this from binary to decimal we'll obtain uh, this is an one uh, and this also on one so we'll obtain an one plus uh, not two not four but eight so it's a nine and with the sign bit uh, it will give us a minus nine which is equal to um, which uh, basically shows us that we got the correct answer uh, I will come back when I will clean the board alright the second problem tells us to perform the same operation using n1 which is 18 and n2 which is 42 uh, first of all we know that 18 for plus 42 it's a 60 and performing this operation we will obtain first of all let's uh, write the direct code direct code okay uh, both numbers are positive so the sign bit it's gonna be zero 18 it's can it can be written as a 16 plus 2 so that means that we'll have zero um, one zero zero one we have here how many bits? One, two, three, four, five. We'll add three more. One, two, three, and forty-two. We can, which can be written as a two plus eight plus thirty-two, which is, uh, which means zero, one, zero, one, uh, zero, one, zero. Great. Uh, adding this up, we get zero as a sign bit and zero zero one in mind one plus uh, zero plus zero it's zero but with the one from mind it's one zero plus one it's one one plus zero it's one zero plus one it's one <coughs> and zero plus zero it's obviously zero uh, like i said before positive numbers direct code it's equal to complementary code it's equal to inverse code so i can basically write these all operations again but since uh, nothing changes I will just do these arrows so it won't uh, it won't take any time longer and um, converting this number from binary to the decimal uh, will uh, will get us will give us a value of uh, so 4 plus 8 for 60 plus 60 plus uh, 32 which is 12 plus 16 plus 32 which is 28 plus 32 which is 60 which is the 
um, answer that we were looking for. Okay, next chapter, floating point. First question, which is the equival equivalent of 63.8 in a floating point hex representation? Uh, for the first problem, the first step, I will start from here, would be to actually zoom in a little bit and uh, write 63.8 being um, 63 plus 0 0.8, right? But 63 can be written as uh, an 1 plus 8 and plus 64 which is equal to 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 in binary and to write also uh, 0 0.8 in binary we have to perform the next uh, operation 0 0.8 right here we, we will multiply this uh, by 2 until we will get this, we will get the same number so we'll know when to stop when we will get the same number we'll, you will see <coughs> uh, it gave us 1.6 we will take this part only so 1.6 multiplied with 2 it's 1.2 we will take this part and 1.2 multiplied by 2 it's uh, 0 0.4 we take this part, 0, 4 multiplied by 2, it's 0, 8. Zero is, uh, and now you can see that these two, the, the value will repeat right here. And then will give us 1.6 again. So um, these are the value that we are looking for, these uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 values. So uh, this uh, 0 0.8, it's actually... Let me write here. It's actually 0 0.11000 uh, Okay, and um, let's let's write the whole number in binary. So 73.8. It's 1001001. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, sorry, point uh, one one zero zero one one uh, okay to know actually what to put in the mantisa which is uh, in our case let me have a graphical representation all right so uh, this is the place where the sign bit will be this it's C A R which in our case it's 8 bits this one it's 1 bit and the mantisa which is right here this is mantisa which is um, 23 bits it's uh, 32 minus 8 which is uh, 24 minus 1 which is 23 let me make this tree prettier 23 alright uh, to know actually what to place in the in the mantisa we have to, uh, to count the numbers of I don't know how to call them let's say jumps so let's call these jumps we have to count the number of uh, jumps until we reach the last or first if we look from left to right first or last one so it's one two three four five six so six the number of number of uh, moves it's six so this number it's equal to one point zero zero one uh, zero zero one 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 zero zero one one uh, multiplied with two at this power which is six and now we know that we should put this in the mantisa we put this in mantisa the next step 
it's to compute this exp which is equal to a uh, number of moves right here so 6 plus 127 standard number and it will give it will give us an 6 plus uh, actually no I said this earlier uh, 128 plus 4 plus 1 why like this and not just 135 133 sorry because we want to write those as power of 2 and uh, it will uh, give us 2 at the power of 7 plus 2 uh, to the second power and plus 2 at 0 because 1 is 2 at 0 so our uh, car it's basically this number written in binary in 8 bits uh, so it's 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 the number is positive so sign bit it's 0 and let's write this in floating point hex representation this one is 0 the car like I said it's 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 uh, and the mantisa it's uh, right here which we said it's 0 0 1 uh, 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 to write this in floating point hex representation we have to group them 4 by 4 and uh, we'll get if we group them this is a 4 this is uh, 2 this is uh, let's see I think I actually forgot one yeah I forgot one one here that's why I was that what that was I was searching for so it's um, oh damn uh, so it's an uh, 0 next to the 1 and 1 right here yeah so we group this one like this for like this we'll group this for like this and give us a 9 then we group uh, this for like this and it will give us an, a 3 then uh, those 4 will give us a 9 and uh, this being 0, 0, 0, 0 and counting it will give us uh, grouping the first the next four an 8 so the equivalent of 63.8 in a floating point hex representation it's 4 to 9 here it's a 9 uh, 3, 9, 8, 0, 0 in hex great uh, let me erase this fast and go on on the second exercise all right all right almost there done okay <coughs> What number do we have in decimal knowing that C1670000 it it's is its flowing point representation? So first of all we can watch here and see that we have eight um, characters. Knowing this is in hex, we have eight multiplied by four, it's 32, 32 bits. So we'll know we are talking about a um, simple precision. simple precision right okay uh, next step is to convert this one in binary basically the opposite that we did earlier so we'll have uh, C1670000 being an um, C 
it's a 12 so it's 1 1 0 0 1 it's 0 0 0 1 6 it's uh, 4 plus 2 uh, so not 8 but 4 but I said but but I placed in 0 there but 4 um, but yeah and the 2 but no 1 7 it's um, this one but with an 1 so it's 1 1 1 1 and next are all zeros 0 0 0 all right so we have 4 multiplied by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 32 bits um like we said before being a simple precision we know that uh the car it's 8 bits long uh the sign will take up will will take one bit from the uh from from the uh, all 32 possible and uh, the the mantisa will be basically 32 minus 8 minus 1 which is 23 bits long okay um car it's equal to let's group them actually let's group them i will erase this i forgot to erase actually and all right we'll group this uh this is the sign bit we'll count eight bits now one two three four five six seven eight eight bits right there and the rest of us and the rest of them obviously they are they are the mantisa sign c a r and mantisa great we look here and we see that c a r it's one zero 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 one zero my mouse slipped uh, zero zero uh, one two three four five six seven eight which is um two to the seventh power plus uh a to the first power so it's one twenty eight plus two which is one thirty but uh like i said before uh, the previous exercise c a r it's uh e x p exponent plus 1 to 7 but we computed this earlier so it's now a simple equation 130 it's equal to x plus uh, 127 we move this left side and we'll obtain that exp it's equal to 3 now the the mantisa mantisa it's uh, one one zero zero one 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 zero 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 and uh, all zeros until it hits 23 bits long uh, multiplied with 2 at the power of 3 here it's a uh, minus 1 point uh, this um, uh, multiplier it basically uh, it basically it basically shows us uh, how many jumps will go in the right so basically the opposite the opposite uh, version of the previous uh, exercise when we moved to left now we move to right so we have uh, one two three jumps all right so it's minus one 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 zero point zero one 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 and rest of them are zeros uh, writing this into a power of twos, we get uh, two at the third power plus two at the second power plus two plus two at minus two because we got minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So minus two at minus three plus two at minus four, uh, which is basically minus eight plus four plus two plus. 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 
8 plus 1 divided by 16 which is equal to minus 14 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.0625 uh, which is actually equal to minus 14.5734 minus 14.4375 this is the decimal number that we were looking for going on to the next chapter we got bsd and codes what are bsd icon access tree and gray codes bsd knowing also as known also as binary code decimal it's a way of representing decimal numbers using a fixed number of binary digits for each decimal digit gray code uh, it's a method is a method of binary encoding in which each successive value has only one bit that changes from the previous one to convert a decimal number to gray code we can first convert it to binary and then apply the gray code algorithm which is to take the binary representation of the number and XOR each bit with the bit to its left <coughs> access tree code it's a way of encoding decimal digits in binary by adding three to each decimal digit before converting it to binary to convert a decimal number to access tree code we can first convert each decimal digit of the number to its access tree representation and then concatenate these together Aiken code it's another way of encoding decimal digits in binary which is obtained by adding a fixed value a to each decimal digit before converting it to binary. For example, with A being 2, in icon code the value of any decimal digit is obtained by summing the given decimal digit with A, which is 2, and, convert and converting the result in binary. Okay, let's go to the exercises now. First exercise, convert decimal number 2175 in BSD, access tree and icon. Okay, uh, so we have 2175. I think I can zoom in a little bit to be more clear uh, and make this 5 prettier. Okay, so in BSD, we said that we have to write all of the digits in binary. So 2, it's a 2, it can be written only as a 2. So it will be uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, it's 1, so it's 0, 0, 0, 1. 7 can be written as 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is 0, 1, 1, 1. And 5 can be written as 4 plus 1, which is 0, uh, 1, 0, 1. This is the BSD representation of the decimal number 2175. Next we will uh, compute the access tree value of 2175 um, which um, will be performed after we will copy this uh, binary representation code uh, BS, this BSD representation sorry 0001 and we will add a tree in uh, binary which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we'll get 0, 1 in mind, 1, 1 plus 1, it's 1, but with the 1 from mind it's 0, 1 in mind, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 0, it's 1, 1 in mind, 0, 1 in mind, 0 plus 0, it's uh, 0, 1 in mind, 1, uh, 0, 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 not wrong or wait no 1 plus 1 0 1 in mind 0 plus 1 it's 1 1 in mind 0 1 in mind 0 plus 0 it's 0 1 in mind and here it's 0 um 0 plus 1 it's <coughs> 1 1 plus 1 it's 0 1 in mind 0 plus 0 it's 1 uh, with the 1 in mind and 0 plus 0 it's an 0 this in a decimal will be an 8 
next will be a 10 known also as an A in hex 4 and 5 all right so uh, next icon icon code we'll use the example from the from here let's say A is 2 we'll compute this icon value after we'll add 2 at every digit of this number so it's uh, it's gonna be 4 uh, 3 9 7 so the representation will be uh, 7 can be written as uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 9 <coughs> Uh, can be written as 8 plus 1 so it's 1 0 0 1 3 can be written as uh, 2 plus 1 so it's 1 1 0 0 and 4 can be written as 0 1 0 0 and this is the icon code all right icon 2 actually next exercise Resolving in BSD code of the operation 1453 plus 3489, say how many times you have used the correction factor. To perform the addition uh, using BSD, we can add the BSD representation of each decimal digit. So let me zoom in, zoom in a little bit. It will be um, 0, Zero one zero one zero zero one one, and let's do the same for three thousand four hundred eighty nine. Uh, so we'll get one zero zero one 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 uh, zero zero one zero zero one zero 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 and uh, nine one zero zero one. All right. <coughs> uh, adding these two up, we'll get zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, 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 one, zero, zero. As we can see, we got a carry out from the addition of the last digit which means that we need to use the correction factor. The correction factor consists in add 6 to the rightmost digit, which is 4, and carry the 1 to the next bit. So, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll write 6 in, bin in uh, BSD, <coughs> so we can perform the addition, uh, plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 zero one one zero performing the addition will get zero one zero um zero one zero one minus one uh one 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 zero 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 one zero zero one zero Alright, <coughs> therefore we have used the correction factor only once and the result of the addition is 4942. Going next to the next chapter, we have CRC with the, prop with the first problem being suppose you have received the code word of this one and its generator polynomial G being 1011 determine if the message transmitted over was a noisy channel uh, over a noisy channel was su su successfully received and if it was not determine the errors in the received code word so we know that our t uh, which is 1 1 right so let's write uh, the func the uh, t of x, which is written uh, by using those bits, those one bits, which are the um, 
2 at the power of the position so we have uh, here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we have x at 10 plus x at 8 plus x at 7 plus x at 6 plus x at 4 plus x at 2 plus 1 and generator which is uh, here it's 0 1 2 3 which is x at 3 plus x plus 1 <coughs> next step to determine if the uh, code word is correct or not we'll divide those two so we'll have x at 10 plus x at 8 plus x at 7 plus x at 6 plus x at 4 plus, plus x at 2 plus 1 divided by x at 3 plus x plus 1 all right um, it will give us an x at 7 multiplying this we'll get x at 10 plus x at 8 plus x at 7 those will disappear and we'll get x at 6 plus x at 4 plus x at 2 plus 1 x at 2 x at 3 sorry multiplied with this will give us x at 6 plus um, x at 4 plus x at 3 those will disappear and we'll get x at 3 plus x at 2 plus 1 will give us 1 here multiply x at 3 plus x plus 1 disappear is 4 x at 2 plus x will be the rest and since there is one rest that means that the code word it's not correct and it's wrong great <coughs> let's move the next problem a 12 bit Hamming code word containing 8 bits of data and 4 parity bits is read from the memory what was the original 8 bit data message that was coded and written into memory of the 12 bit word readout if the uh, 12 bit word readout it's in hex DEA uh, we uh, we've also have hints right here it has transform it in binary check for errors and if there are errors write the corrected number without the hamming bits and transform it in hex uh, okay great so we'll transform this one this hex number in binary um, knowing that d is a uh, 13 which can also be written as 8 plus 4 plus 1 so it's 1 is 1 1 1 0 1 e it's a 14 so it's uh, 8 plus 4 plus 2 one 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 zero and a it's a 10 which can which can be written as 8 plus 2 which is one zero one zero we have the number now written in binary and we'll um we will uh, underline the hemming bits uh this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth one all right next step is to calculate the <coughs> the value of them so we have h1 being the first hamming bit will be uh, we take one we jump one we take one we jump one we take one we jump one and so on so we'll have one plus zero plus one plus one plus one plus one we have one, two, three, four, five values of one, and since it's a modulo two addition, it will give us an one. H two, it's. Let me switch the color. We take two, we jump two, we take two, we jump two, we take two. So it's one plus zero, plus one, plus one, plus zero, plus one we have one two three four values of one so it's zero let's check the um, uh, h4 
I mean the third hemming bit which is right here we check the, let's check the value so um, will be we take four and we jump four and we take this one so it's one plus one plus one plus one one plus one plus one plus one plus zero which will give us an zero uh, last one last bit it's uh, this one and we'll take the remaining eight of the bits uh, and we'll get we'll, we'll get done we have two numbers two values of one uh, so we'll get an zero we take the values upside from upside down and we'll get an eight meaning that on the eighth position the bit it's wrong <coughs> so uh, that means that we have to correct this one and transform it in binary check for errors we checked for errors we got the error write the corrected number without the hemming bits and transform it in hex the number that it's uh, uh, without the he the hemming bits it's um, resulted from um, those bits this one uh, this one and this one so basically we'll just write it here zero one 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 zero one one basically all the non hemming bits from the original two bit word and transform it into hex transforming it into hex and here it's an 10 so it's an a and this is uh, 4 plus two, it's 7 so it's 7 a in hex this is the <coughs> corrected number in this case it happened that uh, the error was an hemming bit and we corrected it but if it was right here we would just uh, tra um, transform it to a zero so it would have been zero right here and automatically the value would be another one uh, going to next chapter hemming bits and distances here are two problems that involve the concept of hemming distance and hemming bits suppose you have first one suppose you have two code words a and b represented as 8-bit binary strings the code word a it's 01100110 and code word b it's 11011011 calculate the hemming distance between those two code words so uh, to solve problem one we need to count the number of bits that are different between the two code words the hemming distance between two code words is the number of bits that are different between them right so in this problem we got the code word a which is uh, zero one one zero zero one one zero and we have code word b which is one one zero one one zero one 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 zero one one let's check for how many different bits we have we have one right here so it's one I will just count them here not uh, I will not add them or something like that. I'll just count the bits right there underneath so we'll get one this those are the same those are different those are different those are different those are different and uh, those are the same but those are different let's check it one more one more time here it's zero here it's, it, it's on one so it's one same different 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 uh, different same and different so yeah there is there is there are six uh, the different bits so the distance hemming resulting that the hemming distance <coughs> hemming distance it's equal to six uh, next question how many hemming bits are in the number two thousand fifty six hundred and that's all um, to resolve this problem we have to find uh, n what is the n if 2 at the power of n is the closest or uh, the exact number that we are looking for uh, that we are given which is in our case 256,000 
<coughs> and again that's all uh, to add which power ignore this sign please okay perfect so uh, therefore we know that 2 at 10 it's 1024 2 at 9 obviously dividing this by 2 we will get uh, 412 but uh, multiplying uh, those two values we will we'll obtain um, 500 actually let's do it right here uh, 512 we'll get 8402 4201 and here we get 0205 uh, we'll get 524,000 288 so it's clearly larger than our uh, number right here so let's try by dividing this uh, by 2 and we'll get uh, 262,144 again it's larger than our round number right here we divide this also again by 2 and we'll obtain obviously a number that is smaller than the one that we are looking for <coughs> so uh, this is a zero right here so doing this um, multiplication we got here uh, 12 at 19 but we divided by 2 so it's uh, 12 by 18 but we divided again by 2 and it here we got 2 at uh, 17 and there is um, there are 18 hamming bits why 18 because the count the, the counting uh, starts at 0 uh, so it's 0 1 2 3 4 and so on until 17 the formula for this one it's 17 minus 0 plus 1 to know how many numbers are in this range so it's 18 so there are 18 hamming bits hamming bits in the number 256,000 100,000 sorry okay moving on at boolean algebra this is a uh, de morgan's law table uh, we have here identity law null law uh, inverse law commutative law associative law distributive law absorption law de morgan's law and item potent law <coughs> uh, first exercise Simplify the following Boolean expression using the Morgan's law. Laws, sorry, actually laws. Uh, and we have negated a and negated b or negated c and negated uh, d. All right. Uh, to solve this uh, this problem uh, we have to use that uh, we have to use the Morgan's law to simplify the given boolean expression the the Morgan's law states that uh, not a and b it's equal to not a or not b and not a or b it's equal to not a and not b okay we can start by using the first de morgan's law and we'll have not a negated and b negated uh, or c negated and d negated which is equal to not a negated and b negated and not c negated and d negated <coughs> then by using this one right here which is the second uh, law we were talking about we will get uh, 
not A or not B and um, not C or not D. All right. Uh, this was the first one. Let me quick erase this. All right. Okay. Um, second exercise says simplify the following Boolean expression using the Morgan's law. Basically, same, same. Um, same is the same like the one before but it's a little bit harder because we have more arguments we have a and b or c and d negated and um, a or b and c or d <coughs> uh, let me zoom in a little bit first we have to simplify uh, the first part of the expression by applying the De Morgan De Morgan's law, and we'll get here um, A and B or C and D. It's equal to not A and B or C and D and it's equal to not A or not B and not C uh, or not C S or not D. Next we'll simplify the second part of the expression by applying the, the Morgan's law again so we'll have right here A or B and C or D uh, which is equal to not A or B and C or D and it's equal to not a and B or uh, it's parentheses not C and not D finally we'll combine the two simplified parts of the expression and apply the Morgan's law once more uh, and we'll get <coughs> not A or not B and not C and not D and not A and not B or not C and not D which is equal to not not A or not B or not not C or not D and uh, not not A and not B uh, okay and not C and not D <coughs> which is equal uh, which this one it's equal to I'll he I will have it written right here uh, a and B or C and D okay and 
or B and C prime D prime so this is the simplified form of the initial expression using the Morgan's law uh, this problem is a little bit more challenging than the previous one because it requires to apply the Morgan's law uh, a lot more than just two times next chapter logical circuits <coughs> I have it right here um, the logic gates the symbols and the description and also the boolean value values uh, first of all uh, I chose those two circuits to solve and we'll uh, try to do it using the logic gate so we ha we see that we have um, and gate between A and B so here we get an AB <coughs> I'm sorry then we see that we have a and gate between B and C so it will be an BC but we also have an OR gate between B and C so it's B plus C here we get uh, an AND gate between those two values so it's gonna be uh, B C multiplied with B plus C and between those two it's an OR gate so we'll add those those uh, up and we will get A B plus uh, B C multiplied with B plus C next one um, you can see that it's pretty pretty close to the first one but we have this um, NOT gate right here this is a NOT gate and we see that we have an AND gate between A and B so it's an AB uh, NOT C so NOT gate so it's a NOT C those two will those two will have an OR gate so it's AB plus not C and this is negated will be not A B plus C next chapter K maps we have two exercises first one minimize the following boolean expression uh, boolean function sorry F function F arguments A B C D sum of mean terms 0 1 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, and 15. <coughs> Since the given Boolean expression has four variables, we will draw a 4x4 four four K map. Uh, we will fill the cells of K map in accordance with the given Boolean function, and I'm talking about those mean terms right here. Then we form the groups in accordance with the above rules. Above rules, um, that means we uh, group them uh, by power of twos largest group possible uh, that is a um, power of two so uh, for the first step let's create the table first we have this one let's say this is a table we have a b right here and c d right here and we'll create the table here we will get not a not b not a b a B A B 0 A B negated sorry therefore we get not C not D not C D C D C D negated then we'll draw the uh, lines and columns with their indicators <coughs> so here we'll have one two three two and based on the first row we'll add four four five seven six now we'll add at th this line we'll add four but here so we'll have eight nine eleven ten and this line has those summed by four so it's twelve 13, 
14, uh, 15, sorry, actually 15 and 14. Uh, we are given those positions right here, so we have to um, specify which ones are the mean terms, and we know that it's a 0, 1, 1, uh, 5, 7, therefore we have 8, 9, uh, 11, not 11, sorry, I was watching the the second problem uh, 15 13 and 10 right here okay next step like I said before it's to group them um, in the largest groups possible that are that, that are power of twos so let's see oh I thought that I can underline prettier with this one but uh, now I see that I can't um, <coughs> we have those four that we can group we see that we have this square that we can also group let me change the color so this square right here all right and also the corners we can also do the corners this one this one this one and this one yeah all right so basically we have three groups right now all we have to do is to group them uh, i mean we grouped them and now it's to uh specify which are the groups and uh minimize the following boolean function so we said that we have a function a being with four arguments a b c and d which is equal to um not a actually let's, let's write like this not a negated a b plus a b multiplied with not c d plus c d plus negated a b plus a negated b plus a b plus a b negated multiplied with c negated d plus a uh, a uh, not a negated a b sorry plus a b negated multiplied with c d negated plus c d negated all right <coughs> uh, this those two parentheses are formed by those four mean terms this big parenthesis is formed by this group or four and obviously the first one is uh, formed by this one right okay uh, applying the Morgan's law we will obtain at the final BD plus C not CD plus not B D Okay, great. Uh, let me create one more page and uh, okay, select this one. Uh, select this one. Uh, copy it right here and to solve it together. Uh, okay. Same exercise but different positions for the mean terms. Uh, same steps we create the K map since the given Boolean expression has four variables we draw 4 by 4 K map we fill the cells in accordance with the given Boolean function uh, indices and then we form the groups in accordance with the with the above rules <coughs> let's create the K map uh, K map right here all right oh sorry okay we have a b c d not c not d not c d c d c d negated all right then we get not a b 
not a b uh, not a not b here actually not a b a b and a b negated we draw the lines in the columns again we complete the indices 0 1 3 2 we add here 4 6 7 5 4 8 9 11 10 14 15 13 and then 12 great now we complete the mean terms at their position so it's 1 1 1 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 5 7 uh, 8 9 11 13 and 14 we, ha we observe here that we have a larger group than the last exercise we have a group of four uh, that we can bold right here to make it easier to read right and we also have um, two remaining right here and two remaining right here so we can group another line with another line and the um, function will be now uh, so function of a b c and d is now <coughs> uh, not a not b plus not a b plus a b plus a b a not a not b multiplied with not c d plus c d from this group sorry from this group right here and uh, plus plus let's do like this okay plus uh, another parenthesis not a not b plus a not b multiplied with c not c not d plus actually same parentheses or not no it's not the same not c d okay perfect uh, using the Morgan's law that are right here we'll obtain d plus not b and not c which is the final uh, minimization of the boolean exp function right here along with this one for the first exercise <laughs>